Welcome back once again. In this part, I'm going to show you how can we add a refresh indicator in our project. So as you can see that I have already created a project, but now I'm going to create another new file, new dart file, and that will call be that will be refresh indicator. You can say this refresh refresh file, and in here, first we need to import our material dart material dart and now import a stateful widget okay and in here we need to define our class name we can say refresh indicator and go to this main dot dot file and in here import refresh indicator file and change the home to refresh indicator okay and what is our class name class name is refresh indicator Okay, I think we need to change it because it is uh, it is taking the original file. Okay, so I think uh, it is taking the original refresh indicator file. So therefore, it is giving us an error. So we can change it here. Okay, now it will work. Just change the display, and our error has gone. All right, now if we run it, we will be able to see it. So first, we need to remove this container and add a scaffold widget and inside this scaffold widget and inside this scaffold widget first we need to add the app bar and app bar is going to be this app bar app bar contain a title title is going to be a text and we can say this learning refresh indicator all right and let's add a background color and background color is going to be colors dot green so if i do hot reload we should see our background color so here you can see learning refresh indicator now we need to generate a list and so that we can see our list of data and then we can refresh our data and then we can see our refresh indicator okay so for that and it is not mandatory to use list of data but I would like to show you this way so that you can understand it and for adding a refresh indicator first we need to create a function a future function and we need to pass null here and we can call it get refresh and in here we need to add the async keyword and we need to add a await and future dot delight and going to be duration is going to be seconds and in here we need to define our second like how many seconds we want to show our refresh indicator for instance we want to show three seconds all right if you want you can add a little bit more or a little bit low <clears throat> all right so this is the main functionality and we need to use this get refresh functionality and now i'm gonna add our body tech inside this body tech we need to add our we need to add our list view builder and this list dot builder takes two parameter itself first one is item count and second one is item builder so item count i'm sorry so item count so let's say we want to add 500 item and second one is item item builder and this item builder also take two parameter itself first one is context and second one is our index position all right now let me format the code all right now in here we can now we need to return and remember that whatever we will write inside our ui if you want to show our refresh indicator then we need to uh, wrap all of all of our data data using a refresh indicator so therefore i'm going to add here refresh indicator and this refresh indicator takes two parameter first one is on refresh and inside this on refresh we need to add our get refresh functionality okay so that we need to add here get refresh and second parameter is child and now inside the child we can add any data whatever you want as i am gonna create this 500 list so therefore i'm gonna add a child a child of text we can say and do one thing uh do one thing we can add uh what we can add uh, we can add a circular avatar as well. Okay, before that, just I want to show you 
other things so what we can say this item text and I'm gonna add this dollar symbol and pass the index position and don't forget to add padding here so padding is going to be as inside all we can say 20.0 now if I run it here we go we can see our 500 list I think we can see 500 list yes all right now let's see how can we see the refresh indicator so if we want to see refresh indicator then pull it okay we cannot see our refresh indicator over here and okay let me run it again we should see the refresh indicator here return refresh indicator all right so we cannot see our refresh indicator here and the reason is that we have uh, added this refresh indicator in a wrong place because we need to uh, refresh this list builder builder therefore we need to wrap our refresh indicator in here not in here so i'm gonna remove it here and so i'm gonna remove this refresh indicator and i'm gonna add here container or we can we can add a card view here so add a card view and refresh, remove this one from here and add margin here as inset all we can say 10.0 all right and okay it will work fine and now wrap this list builder builder and in here we need to wrap uh, so let me run it first let's see if we can see the card view yes we can see the card view let me run it again and uh, let me add the elevator so elevator is going to be 15.0 now run it and we can see this elevator is working and now wrap it with new widget and widget name is refresh indicator and in here we need to add our on refresh that is our get refresh okay now do hot reload now if i pull it here you go now we can see our refresh indicator all right so after 10 seconds it will be dismissed now okay remove this one to 15 to 5 now it will look good okay now if we want to uh now if we want to uh, change the background color then how can we do it to change the background color there is an attribute called background color and background color is going to be the colors colors dot we can say deparents and for this color color is going to be colors dot white so background color is for the background color of refresh refresh of progress indicator a refresh indicator and for color is for the icon of refresh indicator see color has changed to deparents i think it looks really bad it is better to use green color green color looks always good all right but for green color we must need to add the colors black otherwise or not blue green it should be black so now if i run it all right so it is working perfectly so we have successfully implemented our refresh indicator and i, I hope you have learned a lot All right, so can we do can you modify it anything no I don't think we need to modify so oh, I want to see I want to show you one more thing that so as we are using here card view so we can use we can use a chef and this chef has a couple of properties for instance we can say rounded bar, rounded rectangular border and in here we can say border radius and border radius is going to be circular we can say 15 point is 0 over here now you can see our card uh, now we can see our card view has become rounded and it has another property that is called bevel rounded mm, bevel rectangular border then it will give us and then it will give us and uh, it will give us a different types of border see it it is giving us a different types of border
all right so hope you understand so see you in the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you are learning valuable information from the channel please do consider subscription